Hello and welcome to another ADLC digital lesson. Today, our lesson is on trebuchets and catapults. The trebuchet was a beautiful piece of medieval engineering that was made to lay siege to castles. That's fancy talk for it could throw rocks really hard, really fast, and smash down the walls of castles. Now, the most important parts of the trebuchet were the lever arm and the sling which held the rocks that it would throw. Now how exactly did the trebuchet work? Well, it will help if we look at a broken down version of the trebuchet. First and foremost, the most important part of the trebuchet is the lever arm. Now, the lever arm can't pivot unless there is a fulcrum. That makes a trebuchet a class one lever because it has the fulcrum in the middle. Now the most important part of the engineering of the trebuchet is that the lever arm is set up so that it's not perfectly in the middle of the fulcrum. One end is longer and the other part of the lever arm is shorter. What does that mean? Well, it means that if we pull down on the short end of the lever arm, we will get a much bigger amount of movement on the other end of the lever arm. So by pulling down a small part amount here, we will get a big movement upward here. That's going to be very important for the trebuchet because the trebuchet needs to have a speed advantage. And a speed advantage means that a small motion on one side of the lever makes a big motion on the other side of the lever. So in our trebuchet, what we're going to do is attach a load with a sling. Now what that sling is going to do is make the lever arm even longer on this side of the trebuchet because once the trebuchet is activated this sling is going to swing outward making the lever arm even longer and that's going to make the rock that does damage to the castle move even faster. Now all we need is an effort force. For that we place a big basket on the other end of the trebuchet and we fill it with a large amount of weight. When that weight is released, the other end of the trebuchet moves very, very fast. Now it's interesting to note that the trebuchet is very similar to the catapult. The only difference is, is that the catapult, instead of having a sling at the end of the lever arm. It simply has a basket with a rock in it. So a catapult works much the same way as a trebuchet, except that it doesn't have the extra speed advantage given by the long sling hanging at the end of the lever arm. So let's see the trebuchet in action. Here we have a trebuchet all set up and right here we have our heavy a mass that's going to provide our effort force. In the middle is our pivot point where our fulcrum is and at the other end we have our sling with our rock and over here we have a castle that we're going to lay, lay siege to. So let's activate our trebuchet and see exactly what happens. Wow, and our castle is smashed down. Now again, let's take a close look and we'll slow this down. Watch this trebuchet. In fact, what we can do is move even closer to that trebuchet and see exactly how it works step by step. As we activate the trebuchet, notice how this far end of the trebuchet this far end of the trebuchet, the long end of the lever arm, moves very, very fast. 
This end moves only a small amount, and that is the speed advantage that the trebuchet gives us. So again, we can see a very small amount of movement of the, of the effort force produces a very big motion on the other end of the trebuchet. So if we again take a look at our whole trebuchet in action, we can see that it's quite effective at smashing down a castle.